Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at this new Xtool D5S scan tool. So firstly, we're going to show you unboxing and then we're going to try it in a vehicle and see how good it really is. So give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into it. So let's see what we get in the box. So if we open the box, we get our paperwork. So we get our Xtool D5S packing list, which just tells you about the product. And we get a quick start guide, which you don't really need. It's quite self-explanatory. So turn it on, plug it in, have a little read through that. And this is the actual product itself. So as you can see, it's quite a small unit. Feels very sturdy, rubber edges for grip. It's got about five and a half inch viewing area. On the top here, we have a little tab so you can put an SD card in. We've got USB-C for charging. And then we've got our connection for the cable itself. In the box comes with cable and a charging USB lead. So this is a wired unit. So one end will go into the OBD port in the vehicle and the other end will go into our tool. So if we put that in the tool and then we can wind down these little prongs, which gives it a nice secure connection. It's not gonna come out. And then we've got a little on off button on the top. So we just press and hold that to turn it on for the first time. And we have a nice startup screen there, X tool. So when you first start it up, we're gonna go through the process here. We're gonna to connect to the internet. As you can see, you've got a battery percentage up there. When it's plugged into the vehicle, it will charge the battery and I'll show you that soon. So we're just gonna run through this process quickly get it set up onto Wi-Fi and do any updates that we need to do before we can start using the product. So I'm just gonna do that now. Once you've signed into your Wi-Fi, you're gonna get this welcome screen and you can either register or if you have an existing account, you can log in. So we're just gonna click register. I'm gonna go through that now and sign up. Once you've signed in, so you just use your email and a password and it registers the tool. I do believe you get lifetime updates for this for free. So once you've got this, this is gonna be your home screen now. And we have auto scan, diagnostics, OB2, special functions, updates, and more. So if we click on updates, because you always wanna update your vehicle, uh, update your tool before you start anything. So we're just gonna update everything now. As you can see, that's pretty quick. So we're just gonna let that run through the process now. Okay, now our updates are all complete. We can come back out of there and now we can use this. So let's go over to a vehicle and see what it can do. Okay, so we just jumped into this Vauxhall Vivaro. We're gonna find the OBD port, which is just under here. So once it's plugged in, we come to the home screen, we can go to auto scan auto identification please wait whilst communicating make sure you have your ignition on so now it's found it's either a Renault or an Opal this one is a Vauxhall Vivaro so we're just going to click on Opal and we want to go into automatic detection so there it's found what it is So now it's found the vehicle, we can go into automatic scan. And here we go. So two out of three. So it's just gonna scan the computers inside the vehicle. 
and tell us some fault codes, hopefully. So now it's finished its scan, we can go into the ECM and it's gonna ask us what engine it is. Start stops not equipped. And uh, let's read the trouble code. So here we have a few codes, coolant heater control module, lost communication with HVAC module, lost communication with transmission control module. So as you can see, tells you what codes there are. And if we go into live data, let's see if we can read some data. So if we start the engine up, as you can see there, it is now engine running, tells you engine speed. And as we scroll down, you can see it's got all the different types of sensors, mass airflow intake, exhaust pressure, and there's lots of information here. It's not the slowest thing in the world, and it's not the quickest thing in the world, but it is cheap. So let's just go into EGR data and see if there's information on that. So here, we just pick up the revs and you can see all the data that you need to see. So if we come out of this and we want to clear all the DTCs, we can clear those out of the module there. And then whatever ones come back, we can see it's only cleared a few because these ones are obviously permanent faults. So let's just have a look in here. So if it comes up with no fault code, no fault code. If we come back, let's go out of the automatic scan. Let's come out of all of this, go all the way back to the beginning and we can see we've got some special functions. So let's have a look at DPF. Let's go into Voxel and see if the special functions are any good. So it's at 2015 Vivaro B, engine control module. Special functions. So DPF regeneration. So it can carry out DPF regens as well. So it gives you all of the uh, information here. Uh, the conditions are not met, so obviously we won't be able to do that. So it does have some good functions on this little bit of kit. Lots of uh, special functions here. Uh, battery reset, steering angle sensor, electric parking brake, lots of different ones. So there's a quick review on the new X-Tool D5S. Really good build quality, good functionality. And if you just need a cheap code scanner, this is the one for you. Link down in the description, and if you use my code Mr. Auto Fixer, you'll get 15% off. So go in, give it a try, let me know how you get on.